the two Colombians are like dominating every race, so I think they will race for Arias again now, as Fiveros already have two gold medals. But yeah, we also see some crashes sometimes. And also we see the Chinese girl, Don Guo, who took a medal already. Oh, and that fight is already there. Oh, a lot of fighting. And the elimination race is always really nervous because we will have a few laps without elimination. So what's the best thing to do in the first laps? There's no elimination. You don't want to waste too much energy. How can you, how can you manage it to get uh, fit in the final? Well, the best position is maybe in the top five. That's the easiest. And also now Manon is not wasting energy as she's skating really easy. Marijk is coming to the front with Larissa Geiser from Germany. Yeah, so Marijk was uh, totally in the back with her start. So there she is. She managed to go to the front in one lap time. So that's pretty strong. And Manon is protecting her back now. So they are together. And it, this is good to see two dead guys together. And we saw the girl from Chile coming in. Marijke should not let anybody in front of her. So the GJ is playing some nice music again. The crowd goes wild. Or they should go wild. They're pretty pretty easy so far. And we see now Anko Voss in front. She crashed yesterday another time. Yes, he's not lucky this tournament, huh? No, a crash in the, on the track with a relay. Yeah, well, we see a lot of teams together. It's always smart to race with your teammate in this kind of races. Together you form a good duo and other skaters won't get in, get in, get in easy so fast. So it's better to protect your place in the peloton. Yeah, we see now Marijke Toom also with a warning. Yeah, so we see Anke Voss and that the two Italian, the two Colombians, the two Germans. Then on the outside we see the Netherlands, Argentina, Spain. They're all together with the teammate. And the Larissa Geiser from Germany is coming to the front now. Looking at her knees, she also crashed this tournament. And Uncle Voss is racing with Sandri Tuss, they are, but they are not working really together at the moment. Oh, and Manon was fighting with a girl from India. It's nervous, it's nervous in the peloton. Yeah, it really is. I think Manon is racing for Marijke now. Or she wants protection in her back. Or maybe they decide halfway to race who's feeling good and then go for that. Yeah, we skater. see South Korea on the outside passing now. Well, is she doing an attack? That would be a surprise. An attack in the elimination race. Yeah, there is an attack. Oh, this is this is fun. And we see Dan Huao from China behind her. Is he stopping, stopping the peloton for her fellow Asian? No, she's not stopping the peloton. We have number 83 in, a, in attack, Seul Lee from South Korea. If I was the Chinese girl, I wouldn't close this gap. Well, Leave it really, to the others. She's not really closing, but I think the, the South Korean skater looks surprised. That she has such that she a, has gap. a gap. Yeah, that she has a gap because he's not really going for it. Now we see Julia Lollobrigida on the outside, behind her big sister. And there's Francesca with her sister in the front of the peloton now, yeah, followed by the two Colombians. Yeah. Arias and Fiveros. Yeah, normally this will be the battle, the battle between Arias and Francesca Lola Brindia. But we see also Marijke Tumen there. She won the gold on the 1,000 meter. And she can do an elimination race as well. 
Yeah, she got a lot of speed as she also did uh, one lap. Which what well, is just 360 meters here. We see the girls from Spain moving now on the outside. Yeah, I think they're coming close to the first bell because it's, it's so nervous in the program. No one wants to go to the front and get a high pace in front of the pack. Yeah, there's the first bell. So the next time they... They change the now. Line. Yeah, they change now. Next time they pass the finishing line, now the you first saw Manon, will be eliminated. You saw Manon and Lola Brichida helping each other. Manon said, if you leave me here, I will give you the place back. That's Anka Foss in the back of the peloton now. She has to move up. With a girl from South Korea who was just in a breakaway. So it's all also on one line. It's also Sandrine Tats who's in the back of the peloton. That's not her place. But she had Anke Vos behind her. I think it's, uh, it's Nadja Wenger from Swiss. Switzerland. She's eliminated. And they yeah. say it's place 31. And is it, if it is so, we miss one girl. So we will try to find out who this is we have an ah. elimination any other lap so not every lap like the points any other lap there will be an elimination it's darian o'neill from usa i just spoke with her teammates and they say she's sick but is she sitting in front of us i'm not sure if she is but she's not racing so we don't see any girl of the usa yeah we see the dutch girls now in the back of the peloton marijke groenewoud is on the inside that's the wrong place to be Marijke Groenewoud has to be careful now. Oh, Manon. I think it's a girl from Ecuador, Venezuela. No, it's Marijke Groenewoud from the Netherlands. So Marijke Groenewoud from the Netherlands is the second eliminated skater. She's still in the pack. She doesn't know yet. So we only have Manon in this race now for the Netherlands. So Groenewoud is still in the race. She doesn't know yet. She has to leave the race. Oh, and Manon is taking the second place in the peloton now. So, and Marijke Groenewoud is still in the race. She has to leave the race now. Was Nadia Wenger also still in the race? Is she there on the outside? Yeah, she's just leaving now. Now yeah. Marijke recognized that she's out. So on the finish we have the next elimination now. I think it's the girl from China. And we see Dan Guo. Dan Guo in the back. No, it's Xi Shan Li from China. It's her teammate. So Dan Guo is alone now in the race without a teammate. We see Colombia in the lead, followed by Marijke Thun, Germany, and the Lolo Brichida sisters from Italy. The girl from Mexico is moving up now, Osiris Giron Garcia. Yeah, and there's a lot of fighting, a lot of grabbing in this race. But there are not any, that many warnings yet, so maybe this will change later in the race. Still the girl from Mexico leading, giving all she can, it looks like. Anka Foss in the back of the peloton. Yeah, and her teammate Sandrine Thus is moving up to the front now with Rush from India in her back. Oh, this is the close finish again. Ecuador? I think it's Ecuador. It's number two from Argentina, Maria Herrero. It's really close every time and it's hard to see. Belgians are separated. The first and last position they have now with Sandrina Tos leading and Anka Vos in the last position. Yeah, we have 44 laps to go. And it ha doesn't have to be the worst place because if you in the last position you can see where the gaps are. You can build. Oh, the Colombians speeding up. They want to take the lead. 
And now Sandrinitas will try to go behind them, but there is a lot of fighting. Yeah, two wins in front of her. Look, you can see now, Anka can see where the gaps are, and she got a girl from Germany behind her. It's Larissa Geiser from Germany who has to leave the race. So Marijke Tum is on her own now. With 26 skaters left in this race and 42 laps to go. Yeah, Manon Kamenga from the Netherlands is a little bit too much on the outside. It's better to be behind the Colombian skaters or behind Marijke Tum. She's now behind her Bond teammate Clemence Hobo from France. So there are the Italians, Francesca and Giulia, Lolo Brigida. And Anke Foss still in the back of the peloton. Is this her tactique, Lisanne? Try to go and pick one skater every lap or every, Ooh, every elimination? You saw Sandra Taz and Marika Tum touching each other. Um, yeah, it, possible, it can be because it's in the peloton, it's a lot of fighting, so the, it doesn't have to be the wrong place but I'm not sure if she made it this time because the inside is most of the time not the best position. You know, Anka Voss is out of the race now, plays 26 for her. Yeah, and now we see Manon Kamenga struggling on the back of the peloton. She looks tired. I think it's not her race today. It doesn't look good there in the back of the peloton. Yeah, or she's done with the fighting. Yeah, and you see how her body moves. She's tired. She's not going to be uh, in the top ten today, I think. But, maybe but we also see Sandrine Taz in the back. You see? She's leaving a gap. What's happening with Sandrine Taz? Or is she just building up? Yeah, but even if she's building up, it's not her position at this moment of the race. Maybe she's thick or... Ooh, and I think she's, yeah, she's in the peloton she's again. She's okay. We also see Dan Guo in the back of the peloton. It's Dan Guo who eliminated. Ooh, and Dan Guo, who took a medal on the track on the, on the point elimination, now is out. That's a big surprise. Maybe Dan Guo is a real track skater, huh? Not that yeah, good maybe. on the road. So Sandrine Tass, who was in the back of the peloton just one lap ago, is now in the front. But this costs a lot of energy to race like this. Yeah, we got Manon still in the pack. She's now in the back of the peloton. She seems easy now. But can she make the speed to pass another skater? We see Marijke Tum in front now. Yeah, and the Mexican girl who took the lead around six laps to go is now in last position. She's on the inside. Manon Kamenga is on the outside. She has to pass one skater in the finishing straight. Yeah, she will be fine. The girl from Ecuador was at least in her back. No, it's the girl from India, Rush, who eliminated. Still 23 ladies in this race. We so have 36 laps to go. We always see the Italian and the Colombian skaters. Oh, and there's a crest. The girl from Ooh, South Korea, Korea crest and she, one girl. Japan. From Japan, she crest looks, over her. She looks bad. She's. Yeah, but that's what the South Korean skaters always do. They stay on the ground for a long time and then stand up. We started a few times before this tournament, so we hope she's okay, of course. But yeah, we see Manon back in second position now. Yeah, so this looks better for Manon Kamenka. He's in good position. And I think the girl from South Korea is still laying on the ground. Just there she is. That's number 82. Yu Suk Woo. Oh, what's the girl from Chile doing? She just hanging Whoa. into the group. What, what, was that, what kind of move was that? It's so dangerous to do that in front of the race. If you crash, all the girls will crash. Really yeah, maybe move. that's her tactic. There'll be no tactic. So I think the girl from South Korea is off the track now. Yeah, she's eliminated. The next elimination we will see the girl from Japan eliminating. And she is still skating. She crashed with a girl from South Korea. 
We see her here. It's Yuri Yoshino from Japan. So no elimination in the peloton. And we see Manon Kamenka in the back of that peloton again. But no elimination. And we have 33 laps to go. So we're around halfway this race. Some of the girls in the pack don't know that there's no elimination here as the girl from Japan has to leave the race. So Francesca Lola Brigida, followed by her sister, is in the lead. Always followed by the two Colombian skaters. Yeah, normally these girls should go for the a fight for the gold medal. We see Sandrine Taz on the inside now. In the Netherlands, we all, always like to go in a breakaway. Why, why do we not see a breakaway in this race? Because uh, you don't win a race by attacking on elimination normally. It's almost every time a, a sprint, right? Between the strongest yeah. skaters. Yeah. So Manon Kamenka now in the last position, but she's in the last position, so she knows what skater to pass, so I think she's okay. But it's a dangerous move, always, yeah, every it's time. number one from Argentina, Cynthia Martos. We have 20 skaters left in this race. As Manon Kamenka is moving on the outside. So the girl from Chile is in the lead now. It's San Martin Bendavi, followed by the two front skaters. Marine Lefeuvre and Clemence Robo. We didn't see Lefeuvre yesterday. She was not racing. Manon is on the outside. Yeah, Manon is a lot on the outside, so she's skating a lot of meters. Of course, the inside is the shortest. This Manon. is again a close call. Yeah, it's Manon who eliminated. So Place 20, 19 skaters left at 20 to 8 laps to go. Of course, we hoped a little bit more from the Dutch girls, but both skaters are out now. So, and this is the time the Colombian skaters decide to stand up and go slower. Stand up for the champion. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> and then Francesca goes again, followed by her sister. They are a good team together, huh? Yeah, they're always training together. You see it's again fighting to sit behind the Lola Brigida sisters or Colombia. You see now Marika Toom between the Colombian girls. Yeah, you don't see that a lot. The no. Colombian skaters separated. Ooh, you know. and the girl from Spain. You see it all the time. If you think you're safe, you're in like eighth position on the inside. You think, oh, I'm safe. There's so many skaters behind me. But then all the skaters come around you and you have a hard time to make it to the next. It was the girl from Chinese Taipei, Meng Chu Li, who eliminated. We see Sandrine Taz now in front, and the girl from Ecuador has some problems in the back of the peloton. Oh, and the girl from Chile was fighting. Renata Moncada in the back now. Also her teammate, Emma Claire. Yeah, we saw Marijke Groene out together with Frank Fries watching the race. Also Manon Kamenga there. We see another elimination. Yeah, it's the girl from Ecuador, Moncada. Place 18 for her. So 17 skaters left. 24 laps to go. We see Colombia first now. There's not happening a lot at the moment. No, the pace is really slow. 
and still no attacks. I hope this will be different in the men's race. Not really exciting race so far, but maybe we will have a great final. That's some Grinatas who goes on the outside. She will try to take the lead or go behind the Colombian skaters, but no, all the time there to, is Maraika too. She tried to take the place behind Maraika. We see the girl from Mexico now with a big gap. She's trying one more time, but I think she's too late. It's number uh, 96, Osiris Giron Garcia. They in the front, they didn't recognize that she was in the back. So 16 skaters left and 22 laps to go. Jan, do you think 20 kilometers for an elimination is too long? Um, if I see this race, it's far too long. Five laps maybe was enough, but <laughs> no, that's not true. You know, your legs feel different after after 20k. So a sprint after 20k is different than a sprint after 5k. But the race is not that exciting. And sometimes you have this. Sometimes you have a really exciting race over 20k and a very boring race over 5k. So you never know it before. So 20k is okay, but. A lot of times the ladies do not really make a spectacular race. Here yeah, we see the girl from Chile, Traslavinia, now in third position behind the Lola Brigida sisters. It's Mayalen Oñate from Spain, who is out now. 15 skaters left and 22 laps. 20 laps to go. So only one skater from Spain left, and now we see Marijke Toom in the lead. She was all the time behind the Italian, or behind the Colombian skater, but now she's in the lead. She probably lost her position behind one of the big teams, and decided it's better to be in front than fighting. Yeah, sometimes it's easier to skate in front instead of fighting. We see the girl of South Korea, Seul Lee, in last position. It's a lot of oohs and ahs at eh, this race. Yeah, I thought I did, we saw a crash, but they are all on their feet. Now it's a girl from South Korea in last position. Well, she was in last position. It's a girl from Hungary now, Dominika Gardi. She has to leave the race. So with the board of 18. 15 place for her, 14 skaters left. So we see Arias and Fiferos in the lead. Both skaters took down all the long distances this tournament. And we're having another little break in this race. We see the girl from Ecuador moving up now as she was all the time the back of the peloton. And Lola Brigida is in first now, followed by Ben Navis from yeah. Chile. She's the, taking over. The tactic from the Italian is all, uh, Francesca is always in the lead, and Julia is just following his sister. So Francesca decides where to go, and then Julia moves with her. And we still see two girls from Chile in the peloton, but they are not really working. Ooh. I think this is the girl from Ecuador. Yes, he was actually... Oh. No, it's from Spain. Maite Ansin from Spain. So 13 skaters in this race. 16 laps to go. As we're crossing the finish line. Marika Tume in first position. Yeah, so you really have to pay attention to the elimination. If you are in fifth position on the last straight on the inside, and you think, oh, yeah, this is not my time, it's really dangerous because all the skaters come from the outside and passing you. So you have to pay attention to all the eliminations now. Yeah, we see now Julia Lolo Brigida is working really hard for her sister. And Emma Claire from Ecuador in the back of the peloton. With a girl from South Korea and the girls from France. Yeah, I don't think we see Julia for a long time in this race. She struggles now and she's grabbing a few people and I think she will be the next eliminated skater. 
Because now we see Emma Claire leaving the race from Ecuador. Yeah, and Sandrine Atas all the way in the back. It seems she's in big problems to follow the hard pace now. It's a lot of fighting, so maybe she's like, okay, I'm saving my energy to not fight and move up in a few laps another time. So there's a warning for Francesca Lola Brigida. And there's her sister again. She is strong. She's again there up front, but she cannot follow her sister anymore. She's giving everything to help her sister to the gold medal. And it is Sandrina Tass in the back of this group. But she is fast, so she could probably pass one or two skaters, and then she's not eliminated. Well, Julia moving up another time. No, she's shaking her head. She's done. So Julia Lolo Brichida is out of the race now. So 12th place for her. 12 laps to go, 11 skaters in this race. Another little break in this race. It seems easy when you see this. Maybe it's better to have a long period of no elimination and then do an elimination every lap because now after every sprint they stop skating. Yeah, or make it a points elimination, like on the track. No, I hate that race. <laughs> you don't skate anymore, so it's not your problem. <laughs> so Sandrina Tass, who was in the back for the last elimination, now she's in the, in the front. But she is passed by German skater Marijke Toom and the two Colombians, but she's in a good position now. And yeah, we see Marine Lefebvre in the back of the peloton now. Ooh, and this is going to be a big sprint. Who will be the last on the line? I think it's a French girl. Marine Lefebvre. Yeah, and she knows it. So 10 skaters left. 10 laps to go. So, what are the Colombians doing? Shaking hands. Congratulations with the like, medal. Already it's a little bit too soon. We see Francesca Lola Prisia still there. We see Marika Tun. We see Sandrina Tass. And also the girl from Chinese Taipei, Ho Chen Yang. She took a medal in the points race last year. Yeah, and we still see two skaters from Chile. They're both in the race. So Taipei in the last position now. Will it be Taipei? Or will it be the girl from Chile who is Ooh, eliminated Sandrine now? Sandrine doesn't have the... Oh, maybe we see a the elimination by fault. Or we see Sandrine Tass leaving the race. Now it's Sandrine Tass. Place 10 for her. Yeah, that's not a good result from Sandrine Tass. Maybe she wants just to be back before the soccer game starts in 15 minutes. But Sandrine, knowing she won't... She won't leave. get a medal in this race. Yeah, Sandrine is a real winner. She wants a medal in every race. And she prefers to win every race, of course. Nine skaters left, eight laps to go. And the peloton is leading by Johanna Viveros from Colombia. Yeah, and Marika too. She looks strong. She is a fast skater and she's still in the race. So if she can manage it to the final, she's always a skater who can do something and maybe can be the strong Colombian skaters in the last lap. And we see Clemence Hobo now in front. Everybody needs to sprint to make sure they are not eliminated. Oh, it's even close for Marika too now. Yeah, you see, she was in fourth position when they came out of the corner. It's number 13, Andrea Alejandra Traslavinha from Chile. Eight skaters left, six laps to go. Yes, yeah, so from this moment on, it's not enough for Marijke Toom and also not enough from, for Francesca Lola Brigida to stay behind the Colombian skaters on the last straight when there is an elimination. Because the all the skaters come around on the last straight. And the girl from Chile doesn't know that she is out. On Alejandra Traslavinha behind the Chinese Taipei girl. She's in your screen now. She's out of this race. 
So if she's crossing the finish line in last position, we will see another girl eliminating. We see her teammate, Javiera San Martin Penavis moving up on the outside. Yeah, but she's still in. So why is she not going out? So this will be hard to get her out of this race. Yeah, it will be or the Korean, South Korea, yeah, it's the South Korean girl who has to leave the race now. It's Seul Lee from South Korea. But still number 13 is in the race. She's yeah, asking her coach now, am I out? Yes, girl, you are out. Yes, leave the race. She has enough time to talk a little bit. She doesn't know what happened. Yeah, maybe you she thinks it was the last in the last elimination, but it was already two laps ago. Now three laps ago she was actually eliminated. And we have only three laps to go. We see Francesca Lollobrigida in the front now, followed by the Colombian girls. As I see the faces, Fabriana Arias looks good. So there will be no elimination now in the first group because the girl from Chile had to let the group go. Yes, Javiera San Martin Pendavis from Chile who, still, who has to leave the race now. We have six skaters left, two girls from Colombia, Lolo Brichida, Clemence Hobo from France, Ho Chen Yang from Chinese Taipei and Marika Tu from Germany. Also, Marika Tum looks pretty good. Yeah, so when they cross the finish line, it's only two laps to go. And Francesca looks behind. She, she watches the Colombian skaters. When will they make their move? And when two they make their move, she will accelerate. So, the bell rings. So, the next elimination will be there in one lap. So, two laps to go. Two laps to go. And the Colombian skaters are coming on the outside now. It's Arias on the outside. No, it's Fifero's on the outside. And Arias will try to follow her, but Francesca Lolo Brigida is now between the two Colombian skaters. In the back, we see Clayman Salbo in the last position and Marijkatum. This will be the first, last elimination, and then we will have the bell for the last lap. And we see on the front now Fabriana Arias followed by Joanna Fifero. And Joanna Fifero is leaving the gap now. So the others cannot pass. Lolo Brice can't make the pass yet. Can she come on the inside? What will Fiveros do? Fiveros give her the space. Oh, Lolo Brice on the inside. Whoa, can she keep the win? Oh my God, whoa! Francesca Lolo Brice, what a finish, what a strong finish. Normally the Colombian girls will never let this happen. Yeah. yeah, and after a terrible track tournament for Francesca Lola Brigida, she takes down the gold. What a good sprint. And is she crying? I don't know, but her mom is in the hospital now. She's sick, so I think this, this win got a more emotional low than ever before. Yeah. It's really a family thing, this. And together with Massimiliano Presti and her sister, she's celebrating this win.